What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another jailbreak status update video. I'm gonna talk about the current jailbreaks, I'm gonna talk about news in terms of jailbreaking and pretty much everything you need to know if you're waiting for a jailbreak. Um, but first off, before we get into the jailbreak status, I do wanna mention that I have brought my gaming channel back from the dead, so I am uploading to that channel again. And that gaming channel is going to be focused on mobile games exclusively. So mobile games only, no console or anything like that. So mobile stuff. So if you guys are into gaming on your iPhone, be sure to check out that channel. Uh, I will be uploading to it pretty regularly. It's not gonna take priority over this channel, but you know, it's something that I do want to work on because I do have a lot of fun playing a bajillion different games on my iPhone. And I figured why don't I record it and upload it to a gaming channel because I thought it would be cool. And also I wanna mention for those of you that are waiting for a jailbreak, um, I know it's not as cool as being jailbroken, but you can still customize iOS. So this is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. This iPhone is not jailbroken and uh, I think it looks pretty damn sweet. You know, we have custom icons uh, that I have kind of pieced together from different themes. Some of them are actually stock. And then we have weather HTML, the crazy shortcut that basically turns your wallpaper into a widget, which looks awesome. I did do a video on that recently. It was my previous video. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link in the description. Um, but I will be making a playlist uh, for iOS customization, no jailbreak required. So if you guys want to see how to customize your iPhone without a jailbreak, check out that playlist, link in the description. But anyways, talking about jailbreaking and I'm just gonna mention it has been a very long wait. Uh, this is abnormal, I would say. Usually we don't wait this long for a new jailbreak, um, but it just seems to be a little slow right now and that's just the way it goes sometimes. So I'm gonna cover you know, the, the current jailbreaks as I like to do. Some people come in here and they just wanna see what the current jailbreaks are. Uh, so first off we have Uncover which supports iOS 14.0 up to iOS 14.3. Nothing newer than that. It does not support 14.4, 14.5, 14.6, 14 or 14.7. Only 14.0 to 14.3. And then also we have Taurine, same thing, 14.0 to 14.3. Uh, both of these jailbreaks support all devices that can run iOS 14. And then that brings us to the check rain jailbreak, uh, which is working on the latest version of iOS 14. So check rain works basically 14.0 up to 14.7.1, uh, but you are limited to the older devices. So iPhone 10 and older. So it'd be iPhone 10, 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus. It does not work on iPhone 10R, 10S, 10S Max, iPhone 11 or iPhone 12s. So only the older iPhones, and like I said, this works on 14.7.1, which is pretty awesome. CheckRain's an amazing jailbreak, and it will be around for a long time. Uh, it does not yet support iOS 15, just take note on that. But once we get closer to the release of iOS 15, I'm sure the CheckRain team will update it. Now, talking about current jailbreaks, uh, I do wanna mention that Touring has been updated, and it's highly recommended to update to it. So Taurine version 1.0.7 is out, and I'll just kind of read this. It's highly recommended to update to this version. Uh, this fixes the very rare but very serious boot loop issue that some people experienced, I believe on 1.0.5 and 1.0.6. Uh, so uh, the boot loop issue was indeed caused by stock iOS behavior. Uh, where a file would become corrupt during a user space reboot and start up repair replaces this file after corruption. So if this were to ever happen, uh, you do get the startup repair screen from Torin. This is pretty cool. This is something that Uncover does not do. Now, if you guys are curious, the user space reboot. So basically when you jailbreak your iPhone with Uncover or Torin, uh, it does do that user space reboot where it seems like it's, you know, rebooting your iPhone, but it's only doing a user space reboot. That's how the jailbreak is enabled. So it is possible that that boot loop issue could happen on Uncover. So just, you know, take note on that. Be careful with the jailbreaks. Uh, the boot loop 
problem is pretty serious. If it does happen, it would cause you um, to restore your iPhone with your computer, which basically you would lose your jailbreak. Uh, so like I said, Taurine 1.0.7, very important to update. I also want to mention the jailbreaks.app website. I don't think they're currently signed. I missed out on that. Um, I do apologize for that, but um, this is the website that I like to download the jailbreak applications from uh, and only use this if you don't have alt store, obviously alt store, you can download and install your own IPAs. But if you don't have a computer, this is how you can get these jailbreak applications. Uh, no computer required. They're usually signed about once per month. And the best way you can find out when they are signed is in their Discord channel here. So jailbreaks.app, as you guys can see here, I'll leave the link in the description. And pretty much when they are signed, you will get a notification in Discord that the applications are now signed. And then you can go ahead and um, download them. So I'll leave links in the description for you guys. So now that brings us to the topic of where the heck is the next jailbreak? Uh, like I said, it's been an abnormally long amount of time. Usually jailbreaks come out a little bit quicker than they have. Um, and I'm going to go off of the only news that I know of currently, and that is for the Manticore jailbreak. So I want to talk about that here really quickly. So uh, the Manticore jailbreak. Now, basically what this is, is it's going to be two different jailbreaks. The first jailbreak that they're going to release, which still hasn't come out, and it hopefully will come out soon, uh, is the same as Uncover and Taurine. It's going to support iOS 14.0 up to 14.3. Now, the thing that's cool about Manticore uh, for those versions is Manticore will allow you to choose which um, package manager you want to use. And I'm pretty sure that you basically can choose uh, which bootstrap and which... Um, you know, which uh, tweak injection you want, meaning there there is differences between the uncovered jailbreak and the Taurine jailbreak. Um, Taurine uses Procursus and Libhooker, and then also uh, Cydia with Uncover uses uh, Elucabratus and Substitute, I believe. So Manticore allows you to choose which of those you want to use. It's not, I would say, it's not biased. It just lets you choose whatever package manager you want whatever tweak injection you want, and it's pretty damn awesome. Uh, now, the second Manticore jailbreak is a website-based jailbreak, and this is going to support, from what I understand, 14.5 and 14.6, uh, maybe 14.7. I'm not sure on that, um, but 14.5 and 14.6 seem to be the jailbreakable versions for the website-based jailbreak PwnMy when it's released. Now, we don't know when it's going to release. Uh, this is the first time this team has made a jailbreak, so it does take time uh, to do this kind of stuff, and that's why it's been so long. So, um, you know, Manticore for 14.0 to 14.3 still hasn't come out, hopefully any day now. And then after that, we would see 14.5 and 14.6 for the Pwn My website. No application required jailbreak if they're able to achieve it. Now, on a side note, if you guys know of GeoSnow, another jailbreak YouTuber, he actually joined the Manticore team is, and is helping them out with development. So that's really cool. I don't know exactly how much, you know, of that stuff GeoSnow knows. He seems very intelligent when it comes to the jailbreak stuff. So hopefully that helps them out uh, and helps speed up the process a little bit. So, uh, you know, congrats to GeoSnow. That's awesome, dude. Um, and that's basically it for news. Now, for those of you that are on iOS 14.4, you're probably going to ask me, well, what the hell? Um, I should have updated to 14.5 or 14.6 while I had the chance. Well, that is true. Uh, but then we're only going off the assumption of Pwn My. That's, you know, not putting into consideration Uncover or Touring. And there's no way at those times, anyone can know that an exploit is going to be exclusive for certain versions of iOS. So the rule of thumb in the jailbreak community is always stay on the lowest version of iOS possible. The lowest version usually has the best chances for a jailbreak. Now, just because we have news of Pwn My and Manticore does not mean that 
you know, touring and uncover might get some sort of vulnerability or exploit that could be used to update their, uh, their utilities to say 14.4 to 14.7 or something like that. Uh, that is always a possibility. The hard part about covering jailbreak content is nobody knows. <laughs> nobody really knows. We, we get little hints when vulnerabilities are released and when we see the, you know, security content of an iOS update, you know, get an idea of a vulnerability we might see. But um, a lot of this stuff still can happen behind the scenes and nobody knows about it and suddenly a jailbreak drops. So I wouldn't say count out Uncover or Taurine. There is always the possibility that both of those jailbreak utilities could get some sort of exploit or vulnerability uh, for, you know, 14.4 to 14.7. We just don't know. Basically, we just need to be patient and wait for them to drop. Um, and hopefully it happens soon. So that's basically it for the jailbreak status. That's everything. Like I said, be sure to check out the gaming channel. Be sure to uh, check out iOS customization, no jailbreak required. Also, if you're viewing this in the future, check out my jailbreak status playlist. I keep the newest video at the top of that playlist at all times, just to make sure you're not missing out on a jailbreak. Check out that. But anyways, this has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Holy crap. And they spawn back here. Nuclear, baby, let's go. Woo! Let's go ahead and drop this to flex on him. Uh-oh. Throw that up. These guys are getting wrecked. Absolutely wrecked.